of the upper house i'm standing here as a senator of the republic to tell you that this war is real whoever is refusing that this war is real i think that he should i mean he should be checked and going on the other side of people you have talked about people like capo daniel and people are your stop it for me the statement we make them for airport for bamenda we talk for the colonial governor directly say this war is real that is a very powerful message it is a message we would hear for Cameroonian TV. See, you nobody know, ever reached Paul Bia. We don't believe that. Because Paul Bia, as a president, get the highest network of intelligence. We did a report for you, and I responsibility for know exactly which way it happened. We don't believe in all those excuses. Paul Bia know very well which it happened. But the facts say, sometimes a dictator, people they fear for talk true for you. They don't want to talk nothing we go please see. But in certain circumstances, Somebody like Regina Moon, the way that be arrested for illegally represent Ambazonia without any mandate or being an elected person as a senator. He can be arrested for that crime. He can go through very tough time, loss of freedom. He can be charged. He can be convicted of high treason. The experience of all these things, despite the fact that unfortunately, it be break out of our custody. He can make it. A, give you an, a unique opportunity where it doesn't deliver a very powerful message when a very good one. So maybe we'll continue for day. So I think that uh, we, we have a message to give them and that I think that they are like playing with people's lives. We should be very, very careful because uh, you reach at this particular point in time uh, where you, they themselves feel that lives, I mean, they have to discriminate between lives. We, are, we, we saw what happened to the prison superintendent in, in, in Kumbu and, and many other people like this who were actually slaughtered in blood daylight. I think that it is humane. I mean, don't they also think that that was a, a diplomatic issue when they do something on Monday Vision and the world sees what they are doing and people are accepting that they are paying allegiance to Capo Daniel, they are paying allegiance to Ayabacho. This is still something, I mean, a diplomatic issue. I think that everybody should be treated the way that uh, Senator Mundi was treated. If you find that somebody has done something wrong, this is, a, I know this is a war of legitimacy. Uh, you find that somebody has done something wrong. You should be able to correct that person as we have done with this murder. I think it is. Everybody is happy. I particularly am happy because uh, we came at the point where by they were giving her days and there were even already videos around where people, I mean, trying to send out information that she was already killed. I think it is good you that see, she is alive. See, you see, uh, when somebody okay, goes, let this technical stuff we stop there. So, Dr. Nzi Manjo, it talks a me, your humble spokesperson, Kapo Daniel, and Dr. Cho Lucas Ayaba, the president of Ambazonian Governing Council, that we are playing with human life, that we are there dealing with life and death situation. And uh, eventually, the woman have gone through the experience, and he's happy that the woman is alive. Which I want to make our, our, our people know very much. When these journalists, them, we then call themselves professionals, political scientists, commentators, some of them now people that teach them when they teach at university, they come on for TV and they advocate, they make not even advocate, but they give their commentary for assert the truth. Say the southern Cameroon with a succession state na Ambazonia, it be wrongly assimilated, annexed by La Republic of Cameroon. When they make the case, say there is no union between La Republic or or the Cameroon and Ambazonia. Now them they play with life because they don't understand the ramification. The ramification, now say our people they don't lost their dignity. The ramification, now say our people they don't get ability for get representative them like lawmaker. They don't first vote. They don't create political party institution where they organize them appropriately, such as the All Anglophone Conference. It will be discarded and it will be considered like a non-entity by La Republic. Even something like the consortium, it be banned. Their nationality it be banned. They be lost. Millions of people from Ambazonia they did die and they did suffer destitution as a result of this Cameroon occupation. More people they did die from poverty, from Cameroon occupation than they did die for this war itself. When these people them they, they can't stand, they, they make that case. Me they understand the ramification. Say it is a life or death matter. That is why Paul Bia declared war based on this ideology. These are the people who are playing with people's life. 
when they think that they can come on TV and look good by just making intellectual ideas about people's life and they don't know that it have real ramification in the, in the life of the common people. They can be there in Douala, they are enjoying their life, eating their macro, eating their fufu, enjoying their good life. They should know that people in Ambazonia, they are suffering. The poverty is too much. More than 99% of our people, they want to leave that country for greener pastures elsewhere because there is no hope. There is no freedom. They face at the same time a genocidal regime that kills people. This is what they are facing. So when you come there, Mr. Manjo, and you are saying that Cameroon government don't have any union with La Republic, you are joking with sovereignty. The sovereign power is bigger than any life of any civilians. That's why it is international law for countries to take measures to protect their integrity and their sovereignty. Remember that even the United States had won the war about any possibility of Cameroon joining with La Republic. That is going to become a catastrophe. We are suffering from that catastrophe today. And we have every right to fight to free our people. We are not playing with people's lives. If you think that Mrs. Munde, she deserves punishment, the punishment should be appropriate. It should be proportional. For high treason, when you betray the whole country, the only punishment all over the world, the minimum is life imprisonment. In America, high treason is punishable by death. In America. So when you say that we should punish her, the only punishment you can give to Regina Munde in the middle of this war is death punishment. That's it. So you people are the ones playing with life. Don't come to media. You are advocating that Ambazonian people have the right for self-defense. And at the same time, you don't think that we can actually use that right. Don't come and say that we are fighting a war, that there is a real war, that Atanganji Paul who says that there is no war. It's a, it's a Satan. And then at the same time, you don't believe that we should use gun. We are fighting against terrorists. Fight Cameroon terrorists. These are people who have designated all of our people for, to be killed. And the military are going ahead and doing it. And when we carry out actions, you think that we are playing a child's game? We are not playing with the life of people. We are saving the life of our people.